could you please show us a brief about your uh, research project like what you do so yes here is um, as part of the Poshvi uh, project uh, we here at MLU have got us a task to um, raise a new wild bee species the ground nesting bee Antophora plumitis also called the hairy footed flower bee um, since uh, most pesticide uh, risk assessment is done on honeybees, bumblebees or Osmia bicornis bees that also nest in stems, uh, we, we, we do have a lack of species that nest in the ground to use experimentally. Therefore, we attempt to raise Anthophora plumitis for experimental purposes. And uh, here we have two types of nest boxes that we have been trying out here at MLU. Uh, they are filled with uh, uh, lightly compacted soil uh, taken from natural locations and they have been sitting next to an active aggregation of Anthophora plumidis. Um, the nest box design is, uh, has been tried out previously uh, and uh, it has been more, most successful in around uh, this size uh, about this step and also if you include additional uh, uh, sec sectioning into the nest. Uh, what I have attempted as well this year is to uh, use milk crates uh, to make even smaller nesting units that you can take out during the nesting season and thus extract eggs or larvae uh, and be able to work with all the different developmental stages of the bees. So I'm going to show what it looks like when we dissect one of these uh, nesting blocks. Um, Antophora plumipes uh, builds individual uh, sort of cells uh, in the soil uh, and in each cell they put a provision for their larvae and uh, one egg per cell. Here you can clearly see that there's been nesting activity. All these holes um, have been dug out by the Antophora females previously this spring. Um, this way you can simply break apart the nesting block. Uh, and since the material um, surrounding the cell itself is softer than the actual brood cells, you can extract complete brood cells like this one here. Um, you can tell that it's a brood cell by this perfectly round uh, cell entrance. Uh, and inside here is hopefully a uh, hibernating Antophora plumitis. Um, some of them also get parasitized or die of other causes. Um, maybe you can go even closer if I want to show the contents of the cell. Um, open it. I hope it's nothing, so we can wait till I find some. I have something. Um, this way. It is possible to extract bees. Uh, these will have to hibernate before they can be used experimentally. Uh, but here we see a male that is already fully developed but still needs to go through his hibernation phase before he can be used. Um, using this method we hope to using this method we hope to be able to perform control experiments with this species in the lab and also uh, nesting experiments in the semi-field or in the field where we can, uh, in these boxes, expose bees to different pesticide treatments and see if there is any effects on their health or on their reproductive output.